Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a case of a medial collateral ligament injury and a medial meniscus injury. And they have a bucket handle tear with a pretty big bucket handle fragment right here displaced into the central joint. They have a small meniscus remnant with this oblique undersurface tear of the meniscus body. But the real reason I'm showing this is because the medial collateral ligament, it shows some anatomy that I don't see very often. And this is my understanding of the anatomy, and it seems to play out here, or it seems to be accurate on this one. So here is the medial collateral ligament. It has the outer thick fibers, and these are seem to be stronger. They're usually intact, and often I see the inner fibers, which are usually, they look like one unit. They're just stuck together. Uh, usually I see the inner capsular fibers torn, and the outer MCL fibers are still intact. So this is a case where this little band here is part of the inner capsular fibers, Again, usually stuck to the outer fibers here. If we go back here, they come up and they stop and they look like they're torn from the femoral condyle here. This may be part of them coming down here. So the outer thick fibers and the inner thinner capsular fibers are separated because the inner fibers are torn. And the other thing we notice is that there is a medial meniscus capsular junction injury. So the meniscus body here typically is adherent to the inner capsular fibers and there's no gap or space right here. But in this case, the inner fibers are torn, the capsular fibers, and pulled away from the femoral condyle, and they're thickened, and there's also this gap between the peripheral rim or the capsular surface of the medial meniscus and the fibers, so we call this a medial meniscus capsular junction tear with a separation. And that's it, so thank you very much.